Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle for those of you who are new here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my money saving home decor tips that will make the space look pretty but you really don't have to break the bank. So my first tip that I have is to actually use your shoe boxes. Now before you <laughs> go grabbing your Nikes and your Jordans and your Balenc I whatever, just hear me out. So I recommend you find your shoe boxes with solid colors, especially your whites, your blacks, and your beige, and maybe browns. I think these would look really nice. They look like they're actually proper storage baskets that you bought at a store. And um, you're kind of recycling, you're repurposing something that otherwise would have gotten thrown away and you're making it look pretty. So I actually use two of them. You can actually see one behind me here. This is a shoe box from a store called MGMI and I love it because it has the beige, it's a beige color with brown detailing. And then I have one here behind me, which is a white one. So I'm no stranger to, these, to this tip. I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't use it myself. And it looks really nice. I think maybe eventually I may change it, but in the meantime, it really is doing the trick and saves me a ton of money because I did not have to go and buy a separate item. I repurposed I repurposed what I already had. And with your shoe boxes, you can hide in all of your things that you don't necessarily want to showcase. So in this one, I actually keep my tea bags inside of there. I do drink tea quite often. So I would heat up my water and then I would keep my tea bags in there. In this one, I can't quite remember what I keep in there. I think it's just a uh, storage for things I did not quite know what to do with. And that's okay too. If there's some things you don't necessarily want to show, um, but you don't necessarily want to get rid of, you can kind of hide them away until you're ready for it. Or you can store your other decor items that you're not necessarily using at the moment or for the season, and then just swap them out um, when you're ready for it. My next tip, and I'm not the one who created this idea, but it is to turn your books backwards so that you can see the side with the pages rather than the spine. This is to create a more minimal look so you, um, you don't have to see all of the colors that all of your books come with. Take it from me, I actually might do this myself. So far I don't have it like this, but um, if you have books that's a mismatch of colors because I, like it's likely that your books are not gonna come in the same color, especially if you're reading for reading, not just buying the books for aesthetic. Um, <laughs> they're not gonna be all the same color, but if you want that more uniform look, just turn the books around and it's likely that the pages are all going to be that same white or beige color and it will clean up that space a little bit. Next, this one I have been doing for a long time and this photo frame here, I don't know if you can see it on my shelf, is actually from years ago. And this tip is to cut out magazine pictures for your artwork. So if you have a magazine sitting around that you're about to get rid of or throw away, go ahead and flip through it, see if there are any pictures. A lot of times there are pictures of flowers or some sort of really cool abstract looking thing or a landscape. Cut it out and go ahead and get you a frame and you can find frames from the dollar store, not from, well, you can find frames from the dollar store or from a thrift store like Goodwill. Mine is actually from Ikea, which I wanna say it was maybe $4, four or $5, but they're really inexpensive. It's really inexpensive to find a frame. And then you go ahead and you just cut, size up your thing based on the board inside of your frame, um, measure your picture based on the board inside your frame, that's the words I'm looking for, and then cut it out and then put it in and there you have a free, um, free artwork to put inside of your frame and it looks pretty. So this last tip is actually going to require just a little bit more money than the other tips and that is to purchase dry flowers. Now, hear me out. You're going to have to spend at first, 
but it will be the last time you spend your money on flowers. I know some of us like to purchase some fresh flowers, but they don't last more than just a few days and then you're spending your money again and again. And this can get really expensive. If you buy yourself some dried flowers or some dried branches or um, things like that, they last forever. They're not going to go bad. They're, they just sit there and they look pretty and you'll never have to buy it. It'll be a one-time investment. I think this is such a great idea. So far, I have a dried flower website that I really, really love. And <laughs> I mentioned this in my haul video, I wanna say, my home haul video. My dry flowers that I have here that I purchased and I absolutely love it. It just really turned the space around. And it was really inexpensive. I wanna say it was about $18 um, or $16 for the dried flowers and then $18 for the pot. You don't necessarily have to have this pot. You can go to the dollar store and kind of get creative. You can get one of those little glass vases. You can get a cute mug and cut your dried flowers and fit them down to size in it. I don't know, I might do a DIY video or something. I've been seeing a lot of people doing DIY videos and I honestly just wanna get into it because I miss doing DIYs. But yeah, dried flowers really are a way to go because they last a lifetime rather than the <laughs> fresh flowers that it'll give you about a week. So guys, that is it for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed these tips or if you're going to give any of them a try. If you try any of these tips, please take a picture, put it on your social media and tag me in it so that I can see what you've done. Um, we can kind of take inspiration off of each other. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifi notification bell so you can be alerted when I make a new video. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.